Well, hello, Taurus. Welcome to Send the Moon Goddess Channel. We are here today to do your love reading for July. Okay, I do have some oracle cards for you. Thank you, Spirit. What's going on, Taurus? This is dark. <laughs> there is some light. <laughs> Okay, Taurus, we have our cards. So, but before we go any further, I must ask you, please subscribe to Send the Moon Goddess channel by subscribing. You will be notified each and every time we upload your video for your monthly, your mid-month, and this love reading. So, hit the button on the right. It looks just like our logo. Give us a like, and don't forget to share share this video all right taurus what's going on with you all right somebody is saying you're so beautiful you're so handsome to me yep see you like a king or a queen and they <laughs> they love gifting you they love paying for dinner i'm hearing mm. all right okay they say go on all right uh, Taurus, these other cards too say love on yourself and your person is saying look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is deep as the ocean. Okay, so it must be this person who's saying you beautiful, Taurus, because that person was going on and on. All right, I do see some st strong love. Um, some of you, uh, it's, it might be, a, if you're single, it's going to be a, a strong connection a very with this person. You, you, you might not understand it too much at first, but then you're going you're gonna to catch on. Um, Spirit is saying this is somebody you definitely been praying for. And others of you have been praying for a commitment. It's going to happen, baby. If, you, if you've been praying for a commitment, your person is, is about to ask you to marry them or your person is about to say yes. <laughs> uh, look, definitely a commitment. Now, this could be another Taurus, Virgo, uh, um, Capricorn, Libra is here also, okay? Or, uh, yeah, there's a strong Libra here. All right, Taurus, you guys, ah. This, it, either you've been in a long relationship or you will be in a long relationship, especially with this Libra. They don't want to let you go. They, they say in commitment. Remember I said they was gifting you? Cause, yeah, because they got a little money. They like working on their goals like you, too. They do want to marry their Taurus. Told you, they want a long relationship. All right, Taurus, are you in a dark way or something? What is this moon? What is the moon telling the spirit? All right, Taurus, mm, you might have been dream daydreaming about your past. Somebody's going to come back from your past. It might be your ex uh, uh, or somebody you really care for is coming back from your past. Maybe you've been. Mm. Yeah. This might work, y'all. Especially if you're single, this person that's coming from your past. It seems like you walking hand in hand. Yeah. I do feel, see, like you guys feel like you, you're being guided together all right some of y'all might be even talking about family mm. this might be your twin flame and not just your soulmate is that what i'm hearing spirit with this tower no they hurt your feelings okay this was for the person in the past the past the person from your past they used to like to argue I mean, are you? I can hear them. They hurt your feelings. They left you. But now they want to come back because they know they realize they miss an opportunity to be with someone they really care about. And someone who, who got the same goals as them, who's not lazy and is ready to work. Spirit is saying, do what's best for you. Hmm. 
Taurus. They saying to do what it's up to you. They saying you can use your um, your your intuition. This is really working. It's very strong. This might be a karmic relationship that you in to Cap Taurus with the Capricorn, maybe. Yeah. Use your intuition. What is this Ten of Swords? All right, this is someone you need to miss. It's thank you, Spirit. All right, yeah. You're gonna leave that rocky relationship, and once you do, you're gonna get this person. A person, this could be an air sign, but this person that is gonna have a lot of feelings for you. I don't know if this is fire this that's looking at you, or a, a Sagittarius, Leo, or is it because they have so much passion for you? And they and, and that's why they, they have to pull out the wood. Yeah, Taurus, you're gonna enjoy this month. Because your love person is really looking out, out for you. Look like you guys might be, if you're married, you might be making a new plan on the future. Yeah. Or, or maybe you just, you guys are just making more money. Yeah. It might be just making more money now. Things are really working out for you guys this month. There's a lot of feeling. If you're married, they saying things are really working out. Your partner really likes to um, protect. They believe in protecting you at all times. Yeah, this tower keep coming up. I think this tower is trying to tell you this is your twin flame, not your soul mate. Because this is your dream. This is this person's gonna be your dream because this, everything's gonna work out. But they saying you it's you. Taurus, get out your head. There is love in this relationship. Get out your head. Now, some of y'all do, do have a liar cheater. But I don't see you guys being married. I see in you guys, you being single. So, if you marry, it's like, you might think your person is doing something, but your person... Is being very loyal. Okay. This Knight of Swords. <laughs> Woo. Long distant love. Okay. This person can be a, a Libra, Gemini. They are they definitely love you. They want a family. They want a family with you. Mm. They saying their patience is over. It's, they can't take it no more. Yeah, they 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 want to they want to be with you now. They already know it's gonna work. So that's why they want to come forward because they love you, Taurus. They say enough is enough. <laughs> yes, yeah, see, you make them happy and they feel the love. And you do too. Told you they were going to be gifting you. And they, <clears throat> if you think of this person really wants a, I'm telling you, Tori, they want a, a, a long relationship with you. That's why they want to marry you. This could be a Virgo or Aries. Because they, they really do love you. This King of Cups. All right. Is this a, Have you dealing with a Scorpio, Taurus? Yeah. Are you you thinking about walking away from this person because because you your your relationship is is not the best. It's like it's always rocky. You never know when what's gonna happen once you come home. And this person, they they really don't. I, I don't see them wanting a long time relationship. Nah, they flying in, get what they want, and go back out. This person's heart is closed. 
Yeah. Yeah, this person's heart is closed. So spirit is telling you to walk off. That you know it's time for you to go. Yeah. It's time for you to if this is if a Scorpio, they playing games with your heart. All right. Mm. Somebody. Uh, somebody is a karmic love. Hmm. Yeah, they in love with you, but you got to be careful with this person. I don't know if they be telling you the truth. They do love you, though. See, I don't know. Do they really? Yeah. They telling you the truth. They really do care for you. Yeah. But they sometimes they be in their head. Sometimes, I don't know, they, they overthink. Ah, oh, this is a if it's a Libra, they overthinking. And that's why getting all this negative energy. See, they want they want to make it work. They know it can work. Yeah. Somebody from your past, they keep saying it. it's coming back. Somebody you pray for. You pray for this person. You pray for this person in some kind of way. All right. Work with your, your intuition, Taurus. Okay. This person that you care about really care about you. Some of you guys gonna meet someone new when you out with your friends. Okay, please listen to your intuition because it's guiding you. Okay, and protecting you. So watch the signs, Taurus. The numbers, signs. Okay. So, if somebody might ask you, maybe for a loan or something, but I don't know if you should give it to them, but the spirit's in it's up to you. But they do need the money. Anything else? For our toys. I think we covered up. <clears throat> they did tell you to love on yourself too, Taurus, this month. Take care of yourself. Self-care. Okay, don't forget that. Jeez, your intuition again. Trust it. I'm here and trust it because see, they, they're guiding and protecting you. Something new is coming into your life, Taurus. I can't let me out. This is supposed to be a love reading, but yeah, some of y'all messing with a karmic, uh, uh, a Capricorn. They, they keep playing around with you. Pray for them. <laughs> yeah. That that Capricorn is something. Some of y'all might meet someone new. This could be a new Scorpio, not the old Scorpio that I said earlier. Just take it slow. <laughs> But one thing for sure, they want you to, it's time to move. It's time to move when it comes to love. Don't overthink nothing. Don't listen to family and friends when it comes to your relationships. I'm just, uh, no Taurus. Oh, Taurus is a cheetah. This could be a Gemini. Yeah. This makes sure you keep your boundaries. If you keep your boundaries, everything will be okay. And if you if you see this person cheat, if this you know for sure your person cheat, they 
they saying you you face your boundaries, know who you are and what you deserve. Yeah, look at these three coins. This is you. Communication, passion. Um, you could be a goddess. Magic is here. Definitely some magic. Because this is the highest one in the deck. That's you, Taurus. You are going to be happy at the end of the month. You're going to see something. Ooh, look at all this happiness. Love and happiness. <laughs> all right, Taurus. That's what I have for you for your love reading for July of 2024. I am Sin, the moon goddess, and I'm out.